my best friend Mike Mendez uh, was being recruited by the soccer team and he invited me to go with him uh, to the to his recruiting trip to where uh, I met Rob for the first time. And we went to uh, you know the university. I had no idea it was as beautiful as it was, and I and I got to meet Rob and get to know uh, you know his vision and, and what and really what he wanted to accomplish uh, with the program. And immediately I was sold. I, I was sold on what Rob wanted to build. I thought the campus was beautiful, and uh, really, 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 uh, just in that one trip, really decided that Redlands was the place I wanted to be. He was my first big recruit that came to the University of Redlands. That's what made him so special. First day of training, all the returning players looked over and said, Coach, we got a good one. When you think about his first game that he played in, I walked to him before the game and said, our first free kick is yours, you take it. And the kid walked up and scored a goal. It was unreal. Rob uh, taught me how to, how to work in a team environment and how to build something and how to lead. And those were lessons that I learned as a student athlete that you just can't learn in the classroom. And it was getting 25 guys, getting them to share a vision, getting them to work and attain something that had never happened. And more importantly, you know, doing it as a unit and as a team with the belief that we are gonna change the culture and we're gonna do it in a way that is our own style and our own way, which made our team so tight, it made our unit um, so cohesive that we knew we were in it together. And we had this, we're gonna change uh, everything attitude. Uh, and that's really helped me transition into the business world to be able to build businesses, to find opportunities, and, and to be entrepreneurial, uh, and to lead people, as I, as I said here today. Andy is, was a pioneer, is a pioneer for the program. Uh, he was one of the first to um, set new records within the program, um, individual and team records. Uh, he led a class of freshmen that year, including myself, um, to a higher standard. That first year, man, we had a lot of really young players, uh, including the class I was a part of as a freshman, and we all looked up to Andy at how confident he was, but he was the first one to always say, hey, I could have been a little bit better. You know, the record books show it. Um, he was historical in that 2001 team and then setting the new standard for conference championships uh, and plenty of playoff appearances from there on out. We achieved something that had never happened in the history of the school, uh, which was we'd never won the conference actually. And from my senior season to have something that we've never done to then going all the way to the national final and being a part of that and help building and changing culture that sustained for the last almost 20 years now. We took a program that didn't have a winning tradition that's now an actual dynasty in Division Three soccer. Uh, a, a program that wins a conference every year now, that's expected to win a conference, that's expected to be a top 25 national, and, and, and frankly a contender every year. And changing that culture was far and away uh, the, the, the biggest achievement for me. Being Andy's teammate, uh, you know, really made you think about how much contribution you were giving uh, and were you actually giving it your all. Whether you were a guy coming off the bench or whether you were starting, whatever it may be, uh, he always kind of made you ask yourself if you were giving everything that you have and if that meant moving positions like Andy did from forward to midfield to center back, uh, so be it. If that's what um, is best for the team, then, then do it and make sure you give it your all. Not only was he great when he played here, he hasn't forgot about the University of Redlands. He's, it's still part of his life. Redlands will always have such a special place in my heart because that's where you know such amazing things happen and such amazing things change for me personally and for our program. So I'll always hold Redlands in such a close place to me. Andy O'Shea, you are more than deserving of this induction into the Hall of Fame. I could go on and on about all the great things that you did. You had a huge impact on my career, uh, not only collegiately but professionally. Uh, you were a very integral part of my initial freshman year into the collegiate world, uh, even coming back and giving me pointers here and there, uh, some of those things stick with me and they stuck with me all along. Um, and I really appreciated that about you. You took the time while you were at Redlands, you took the time after, you're still taking time today to improve the sport, the program, and I'm very happy for you. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations, Andy O'Shea.